Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to create your own module and how to use that type of modules like any other module. Like take an example, I'm having this I'm having this random module. So at first I'm going to import right. I'm going to import this random module and this is actually a module. So how to create this type of module or we can say it as a user defined module. So how to create a user defined module and how to provide certain functions inside this module. Like we know that this random module is having certain functions and to check that let us use this TIR of this random and this module is having these many methods or these many functions. So how to create this module? So that's the first thing and coming to the next thing is that how to provide certain functions inside this module and we can do that much easier and main thing here is we need to create a module. So I'm going to have a new file for that otherwise you can use this type of files in this current directory or current folder you know this folder is having this many files and these files this python file is all this python file is going to behave as a module like you can import this module like code 1 and let us run this program so I'm not getting any type of error so you can write you can import any of this file and main thing here is all these files are actually present in this same folder. In other words, all these files are having this same path. So this is the path. So this system does have this path and we can import these many modules or these many Python files. So at first I'm going to create some different file. I'm going to create a new file and so why I'm going to create a new file? I'm already having these many files. So that is because some module has a specific name. So what this module does based on that this module name is given. So I'm going to create a new file for that. So I'm going to say this module as new module and take an example I have shown I have shown before about this random module and its name also given correctly like this function is that module is actually having a random type of functions. So based on that they have provided their, that module name and based on my thing I'm just going to create a new module and this is a python file and you can write any type of name you needed based on what this module is going to do and so I'm going to create this so this is the module and this is the python file and right here I'm going to import this module this new module so let's import this this new module Let's check whether I'm going to get any type of error or not. So I'm not getting any type of error. So I can use this type of module because you know this module is present in the same path as this file does. And right here we can actually create some functions. And before that let us print this dir of this new module. So this module is having these many things as a default. Like if you are creating any type of new module or a python file and you are considering that as a module and you are importing that module right here and all this type of module are going to have these default things. And now let's have certain function inside this module like a function which is just going to have a single argument 
and that function is just going to print a value and finally this function is going to return a value none and let us create a function name like print so just like printing some a single value and this is a argument and this function is just going to print that argument and let us save this and right here let us run this program again and right now I am having this new method and let us start using this method or a function so this new module otherwise let us also print this return value from that function and this new module is having this function and this function takes only one argument value so let us provide a value 1200 and I'm having that value so that function is going to print this value and finally I'm going to print this return value like this function returns a value none and you can use a function annotations you know these functions are actually having these annotations so I'm going to use this dir for this function and for this function I'm having these annotations so I'm going to use this and let's check this value and I'm having this dictionary and this is empty right now and we can add few more things inside this dictionary and that is what this function is going to return otherwise let us change this function to add like this function is going to add two argument like argument 1 and argument 2 and this function is going to return some value like you can provide some integer like this and let us save this and so this is function add and let us check this value and it is saying that this function you know this function is going to return this class name integer and not only that you can provide any type of statement you needed like returns argument 1 plus argument 2 something like this and let us run this program again so I'm having this statement here and we can add some more things to this annotations like what this argument is going to take so it is going to take this integer type and this argument is also going to take the integer type let us provide this let us provide a default value for this argument 2 as a value 12 and let us save this and let us run this program again so I'm having the things like these many arguments takes these many type of data and this function returns this value and there is some another you can use some another alternative for this thing so I can actually use this help function so I'm getting the same syntax like this function takes these many arguments and it is going to return this value and you can add some more things like what this function is going to do in other words you need to provide certain document for this function and to do that you need to provide a multi-line comment type of syntax and right here you can add some statement like what this function does or why this function is useful adds arguments values and let us save this and instead of this otherwise let us only check this value so I'm having this document and you can do it in multi-line comment and let's run this program so I'm actually having this new module and I'm I can actually import this module and I can actually change all this stuff happening at this place like what this function is having this document and what this function is going to return and what this function 
is going to take type some type of values like what this type of data this argument is going to take so you can provide all these stuffs and you can check its documents and its argument type and this function return value and you can do all these stuffs and this is about this function and now I'm going to talk about this thing so before that let us print this value a simple value right here and I'm not going to print any of this value right here so let's check this thing so I'm getting this value as a name and let us also print some some value right here and let's run this program again so I'm having this value as a main and a value when I'm going to run this module so when I'm going to run this module I'm having this name as this main so if this happens you suppose I'm having some statement like if this name is equal to main and if suppose I'm going to print this value is this going to happen let us check this thing so I'm going to get the same value so of course this name is a main so I'm going to have this statement and you can keep it beside because it is a single statement and you can keep it here and let's save this and what if I'm going to import this module whether this statement is going to run or not so let us check that let us run this program and right here I'm only having this name name of this module and I'm not getting this type of statement so this means that when I'm going to import this module right in this program this name is not a main when you run here when you run this module at that time only this name is a main and when I import this type of module this module you know at this case this module name is not main so this name is this new module and let us check if suppose I am providing this as a new module and let us save this and let us run right let us run this program so now I am having these two things like I am having this name of this module so this is the result when I am going to run this program where I have imported this module so this result also says that this name is actually a new module so that is quite helpful and what if you you do in this way like if suppose I am having this statement right here like if this name is a main and I am having this function at this place and let us save this and instead of this what if I am going to call this function like add and this is going to add 12 and 23 and let us run this program so now I am having this main so you know this main is not the name so I'm not going to get this result and let us make this as as a main and let's run this program again and right here I'm having some name error like yeah of course this is going to add this argument 1 and this argument 2 and let's save this and let's run this program again 
so this name is a main so I'm going to get this return value and this is going to happen and what if I'm going to run this program I'm getting this as a new module so this is not going to happen and if you make this as a new module and when you run this program I'm going to get this thing and when you run this program I'm going to get this name error so why is this happening because we already know that this name is not a main so this function is not defined if you make this as a new module and if you're saving it and if you're going to run this program now I'm having this value so try to understand these things so this is quite helpful at some portion like if you want to run certain module you can use this type of statement like providing a value as a name or yeah it is main and all this statement is going to happen when you are going to run this module and this thing or this method is not going to be defined uh, when you are going to run this program because right here you know this name is going to have a value as a name as a main so this function is not going to be defined so let us run this so you see I'm having this thing because this is a main so that is about this name and this main and let us also remove this So this file or this module Python module is present in this same file so I can actually import this new module and what if this module is present at some different path like you suppose I'm having a new folder and I'm going to name this as let it be a folder so I have created this new folder and what if this new module is present at some different path you know this is a path where I'm having this file and this folder is this module is having some different path so can we import this module So let's run this program again. So this is having this new module and let us delete this file. And so I'm having this new module in this folder. And this is at some different path compared to this file. And let us run this program. So right here, this is saying that this there is no module called new module and this is happening because let us make this as a comment and let us import this sys and let's print this sys dot path so I'm going to check the all path of the system and of this sys file sys module and right here I'm having this current path so this is the path where I have this file you see I'm having this file at this location at this path so let me show that and 
you see I'm having the same path right here same as this thing so because of that we can actually import this type of modules or this type of file name but here I need to add some additional path like I need to add the path of this new module right in this system right in this path and right here you can have you can also print this path of this folder right here like importing sys and printing this sys dot path so this is the path where I have this new module so this is the path so let us save this let us have this inside this path so you know this path is having this thing so I need to add a new path for this module if you are providing certain path for this module we can actually import this module and let's have certain example so we know this this module is having certain path so this is the path for this module and for this I'm having this path so right here main intention is that I need to import this new module and we know that right here so this is a path for this new module so let us have this right here so this is this path is for code dot this file and this path is for this module so let us start from beginning like importing this new module and I'm getting this error and we know that this module is present at some different path and we need to add this path to this sys module so let us have this and let us print this sys dot path so in this path I'm actually having this path because of that I can actually import all these files and my intention is that I need to import this new module and this module is present at this address or this path so this path is not present in this list so at first we need to append or we need to save this path in this system path so let us do that let us have this right here so this is actually a list and because of that I am going to use this append and I am going to have I am going to provide this path at this place and after doing that I can actually import this new module so let us check you see I'm not having any type of error and where I'm going to create a path I'm having this folder so this new folder has been created right here and I'm having this thing so because of that I can actually import this module so this is the path for this module and this is the path for this current file 
and if suppose you are providing or if you are importing this new module before this statement like right here and I'm going to get this type of error so this is happening because you know I have not provided this type of thing and So now you can use this type of module. So let us start using this function. And I'm already having this function call. So this is actually going to call this function. And because of that, I'm having this value. And if you don't want to have if you don't want to print this value but somehow this has to be present in this module so you can use this if name is a main and you can have this and when you are going to run this program you know this name is going to be the main and I'm going to run this program so now I'm not going to get any type of statement as before like this does and now I can actually use that function. So I'm directly going to call this add. So this is directly going to print this value so I don't need to print the return value. So this add is going to take two values like 12 and 23 let us check this value and I'm having yeah I'm having this value and not only that you can have set in class you can create a class right here and you can have create that like class name some class and this is having some constructor so this is going to take certain values like a value like let it be string add so this is going to add two strings and right here I'm going to have string 1 and string 2 and this is going to have some variable a class variable and this will be some result and you know this is going to add this string 1 and this string 2 and I'm going to have certain method inside this class like so this is going to print this value so this is going to print this self dot result and let us save that and let us start using this class so this new module is having this class and right here it is going to take two strings let it be string 1 and string 2 and let us have certain class variable and I'm going to call certain method so I'm going to call this method and let us check this value so this is a class so yes it is a class and let us save this and let's run this program again so I'm having these two strings so we can have this thing otherwise you can import this and this you can add these two you can import these two function and a class and you can directly use these things and let us run this program so I'm getting this 
result again so i'm getting the same result as before so let us talk about these all things again so at first time i have talked about i have imported certain module and i have shown how this random module is having certain functions like i have i have showed you that many functions by the help of this dir and so in the same way you can also create your own module and whenever you have certain module at some different path you can use this type of statement to add that path and finally you can use that type of modules where i'm having where this module is present and make sure when you're importing any type of module all this path must be present inside this list so at first we need to check whether some path is available inside this list or not if if it is not present we can't able to import that module and to import that you need to provide certain path where a new module is present and after providing this value to that list we can actually use that module and that's the main thing and we can use these type of methods and this class and finally let us check let us only import this module and let us check this dir of this module so i am having this methods so this is a class and this is a function so we can actually create this class and these functions right here and we can also check certain name so i think that is for today and see you again bye bye